So this is probably going to be one of the hardest repairs that you'll ever see me do. Um, take a seat, sit back. Um, this is an iPod 6th generation battery replacement. <laughs> okay, it's not going to be that hard. But uh, I guess people want the service done. And we will happily oblige, but uh, make sure you send us the device without the screen connected. Because that is the hardest part of doing this repair. So, iPod 6th generation. Let's see if you, I can't even get a big picture of it. I'm not going to. Anyways, this is iPod 6th generation. Whatever. It's just got three. It's got a little piece of tape on it that I took off already. There's three little leads. Um, and basically, I just got a little bit of low melt on my hot iron. And I'm just going to kind of do this a little bit. You probably don't really even need low melt, really. But uh, I'm just going to do it just so that I can kind of get it off a little bit. You can probably just use regular. You might not even need solder, but definitely get some flux on there so you don't rip any pads because you're going to run into some trouble. Um, there's a little bit of glue under here too, so just kind of be careful with that. But you just want to run your iron over it. Uh, don't don't rip any pads. And yeah, that's really the important thing. Uh, you can also kind of... And remember, this battery's still connected, so just kind of be careful with that. Make sure you don't shore anything out, otherwise you're going to blow the battery up. Um, really not a whole lot to it. Watch me rip this pad. Hope I, hopefully I didn't rip it. Um, you don't want to use too much force lifting this thing up. Uh, I think it's probably ma mainly... I feel like mainly it's the... Let's see. Why is it still stuck? Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's it really. Um, not a whole lot to this. Uh, I guess, you know what, let's just go to the big screen. So, this will this will be the hardest part to uh, just lifting this battery up without blowing it up. Just a little bit of glue under here. Um, not a whole lot to it. Uh, you can probably use some heat. Um, but since this battery is not going to be used anymore, it's not. Just be careful. You don't want to explode this thing. That's really what it comes down to. So there's plenty of glue under here, which is not the easiest. Oh, there's also a charge port. <laughs> so be careful with that. Don't rip that charge port. Uh, uh, hopefully I didn't rip it. I don't think I did, but I was close to it. Okay, so there you go. I don't like using all this. This is maybe Tessa tape that they're using here, but this is a little bit complicated, so I'm going to take this off. Um, I like using this cheap stuff called... Was it duct tape or something like that? Double sided duct tape? That stuff is pretty good. Because it makes, if you ever take it off again, it makes it a little bit easier. And it holds it just enough that it doesn't wiggle around. Okay. Looks like it might be water damage or something. It's weird. Anyways, um, not a whole lot to this, uh, Let's see. Should I go to the mini view or you guys want to see it just like this? Let's go to the mini view. So just put a little bit of... Just kind of tin this. I mean, you can use whatever you want. It's not really going to matter. It's just three leads. So I didn't even... So this is probably... Well, you know what? Let's, let's get this off because this is probably low melt. So let's remove the low melt. And then we'll put some, some regular solder on. By regular, I mean 6337. Just in case somebody's watching this video for the first time. Low melt melts at 83 degrees Celsius, uh, sometimes a little bit hotter, hotter, but 
definitely definitely want flux. Um, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Any kind of soldering job. So we'll just tin this just a little bit, not too much. All right, and then I'm actually gonna clean this because once I put the battery on, it's not gonna be easily cleanable. And you can kind of get all the adhesive, the old adhesive off too, because there's gonna be a new adhesive on there. So usually just a little bit of IPA, isopropyl alcohol. I use 99%. Uh, you may not, you can get it on Amazon, but if you want to go to the Walmart and get it, just you can just get 91%. That's fine too. All right, so new battery. Take the adhesive off. And I think it's just like this. Okay, don't forget to put the tape down. So let me get my dub double sided tape. You guys won't be able to see it, but maybe you will be able to see it. So I use this stuff. It's called duct tape, double sided adhesive. Uh, duct, there you go. Then I'll just put a little strip. Uh, just one side should be sufficient. If you really want to get uh, ambitious, just do two. I don't think it's necessary though. And then just kind of lay it down here. Make sure it's flat so that when you put the screen back on, it's not going to interfere with it. And then we're basically just going to lay this over. Uh, I took the tape off already, and and then just resolder it. Okay. So, um, lay it over and just make sure. You see this this right here just make sure that this uh these little boxes align with the two squares right here this square and that square so just kind of make sure you can kind of see it um, and then once you have it kind of centered you can put some flux on so that's kind of centered and you can just kind of tack just one side down first just a little bit whatever and then make sure this side is aligned I don't you can barely see it through here actually um, but anyways just make sure you have some flux uh, flux is important it helped if I had some solder too at the end of my thing here but I don't uh, because I want to tack it down first. Okay, I just want to tack it down just a little bit. Okay, so that's gonna be enough. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of solder. Uh, so solder, uh, maybe a little too much, but we'll go with it. Not gonna hurt too bad. And then basically just kind of go like this with it. Don't forget about the flux. Push down. Push down. This, this is too much solder, so we just put it, move it over here a little bit. Um, make sure it's flat. So that's good. Uh, if you want to remove some of this solder, that's fine too. Um, just get some wick. If you don't have wick, then just don't worry about it. Just don't put too much to begin with. Okay. That's really it. Uh, and then make sure you just get all the old flux off. Put the little piece of tape back. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's pretty clean. And then, I think I might have lost my, is this my tape right here? Yes. Okay, so this is my little, my tape, just put the tape back. Um, and then I guess just plug it into your charger just to see if it's charging or not. Should be 0 0.78 to 0 0.83, and then you can also plug it into iTunes to see if it recognizes it. It may be dead. Well, I didn't do anything with the charger, so maybe it's just charging up. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna leave it. This is done. iPhone, iPod, sixth generation battery replacement.
thanks for watching my videos on YouTube. I just want to talk to you about our online video course hosted at udemy.com. If you go to microsoldering.com and click on store, uh, while it loads, click on micro soldering to full curriculum. As you can see, we have discounted the price to $99.99. And if you click on this, you'll see that it contains three and a half hours of online video instruction, instructions on how to get started in micro soldering. And we're also offering a certificate now. So after you complete the course, just email us at support at microsoldering.com and we will send you a certificate, a signed certificate with your name on it that you can display on in your store if you want. Um, again, three and a half hours of video instruction. Um, we also have a forum now which you can post your questions and we will answer it as quickly as possible. It's a free forum, no charge for it. Um, the course is $99.99. Uh, just click on this link and that will give you the discount because if you go through udemy.com directly it's going to be $149.99. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn how to do this stuff then go buy this online course. Thanks. Bye.